clapping good time is taking the stage tonight. News 13's Victoria Dunkel is live to show you why you're going to want a front row seat to this musical history lesson. Hey, good morning. I'm here on the stage at the Diana Wortham Theater in downtown Asheville. And in just a few hours, it's really going to be a place to be. It is going to be home to the Mountain Dance and Folk Festival, which is the oldest folk festival in the country. I'm here with Jeff Atkins. He's a member of the Folk Heritage Com Committee and also you actually help keep the Coal Mountain Cloggers moving so well, don't you? We do. I have the privilege of being their director and I serve on the Folk Heritage Committee and we're honored to dance here. This is an invitation only uh, event and we love being a part of this. This is crucial because what happens here tonight and through the weekend helps us enjoy something else that's just part of our Mountain Heritage too, right? Shindig on the Green, we keep that a free family event, and the way we support that is by having this ticketed event for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And tonight's a special night for us local folk, right? It is. This is our local hometown night, so a lot of our, our people who play here locally will be here, and some of the, the best of the best. we got some great musicians and dancers. you got some great dancers right behind you. Shall we uh, take a few minutes let's and enjoy do, the cloggers? Like should give a demonstration. All right, Cole Mountain Cloggers live on News 13. <laughs> instruments to the fancy footwork the mountain music tells an amazing story and this morning news 13's victoria dunkel is live where that story will come to life at a special festival so vic why is this festival so important well, because what's going to happen here on the stage of the Diana Wortham Theater tonight and throughout the weekend is what makes a very special free event possible. I'm talking about Shindig on the Green, and I'm talking to Kevin Hamlin. And actually, you are heading up uh, Shindig on the Green this year, but you're also part of the Folk Heritage Committee. Tell us why coming out to enjoy this incredible festival is so crucial. Well, it's so crucial because uh, we like to keep the Shindig on the Green a free event. And so the only way that we can do that is to raise money to do that. And so we need our local people to come out and help support us tonight with this event to help pay for it. What's the general response when people come out and get a taste of this history, living, breathing history? Uh, so many people come on Thursday nights and they like it so much they go back and they buy tickets for the other two nights. I can't Wait. blame them because what we're about to see is pretty impressive. Shall it we is. take a look? Sure. Let's go. Thanks. you can enjoy at the Mountain Dance and Folk Festival. So Vic, who do you have on stage now? Well, I have Laura Boosinger on stage with me right now. She's actually part of the Mountain Dance and Folk Festival here in Asheville, something that started a few years ago, 86 years and running That's strong, right. right? Back in 1928, right outside this building on Pack Square. And who do we thank for the beginning of that? Well, we actually thank the city of Asheville for having the good sense to bring traditional musicians and dancers downtown as part of the Rhododendron Festival. But this festival has continued and is really the oldest and the first folk festival in the country. It includes beautiful music like you were just sharing. Uh, we've seen cloggers, we've seen buck dancers, uh, so many things. What makes this such an amazing and gotta be at it every year kind of event? 
Well, it's living history. We have the performers in their 80s, and we have young children like you saw this morning dancing with the Coal Mountain Cloggers. This music really passes down organically through families and in community events like Shindig on the Green. That's one of the things that keeps this music strong. It gives a platform for young people to come out and play, play the music, and it gives a place for the older folks to share with the younger folks. How about you share a little with us right now? Would I'd you mind? I'd love to do it. Here's All a right. song from Bascom Lunsford called Free Little Bird. I miss free little birds I can be. I miss free little birds I can be. I'll build my nest in a sour apple tree where the bad boys will never bother me. Well, who's gonna shoe your little foot? And who's gonna glove your little hand? And who will kiss these red rosy cheeks when I'm in a far distant land? Well, I'm as free a little bird as I can be. I'm as free a little bird as I can be. I'll build my nest in a sour apple tree where those bad boys will never bother me. And you're going to hear so much more of it tonight is Hometown Heritage Night. It's a special invitation to all us local folks and bring your friends all weekend long. All the details at WLOS.com. Click on news links. We'll be back and I might even have a clogging lesson coming my way. Reported live in Asheville, Victoria Dover. Getting the moves just right for a mountain dance and folk festival is not easy. Not at all. News 13's Victoria Dunkel is finding that out firsthand. She's live on stage for our clogging lesson. Vic. Yes, welcome to Earth, the Diana Wortham Theater. You know, nothing like starting at the stage in Asheville for your first lesson. Jeff Atkins is, well, you're kindly going to try to bring me along and bring me up to speed as, with the Coal Mountain Cloggers. I'm not so sure about that, but what do I need to know to start clogging? Well, the clogging is a, is a basic, the basic moves I was going to just show you, and you just build on it and develop your own style. Okay. The, the two movements I want to show you first is bend your knees like this, and you mm -hmm. stand up and slide backwards, slide back, and go forward, back. They get you what we call that drag slide. It creates that rhythmic sound. Now we got to put it in a double toe. Now you're gonna okay. so take one foot, just take your right foot and kick it out, and that kind of lets your foot know the height. Okay. Now kick it like you got something on. Like you're trying to spring something off your shoe. And we call that a double toe. There we go. Now you got to do both feet. So you put that one down, try to sew them, brush it out, back, out, back. Now kick it really hard with a double toe. And then we put those two things together. There's one other segment we do. It's going to call a rock step. You take one foot and you rock back on the ball of your foot. And uh -huh. you step down, stomp, rock back, stomp. Okay. Uh, and you put those three elements together and you kind of have the basics. So okay. uh, just to do a single, you're just going to go double step, yeah. double step. And then your other foot, double step. Maybe we should get some music going. Yeah. Who's these behind guys, us? This is the Little Creek Band. And they, they play a lot around for us. And they're a great band. Uh, Simon, uh, Mahaffey, you got Kayla Mahaffey Brothers. Okay. And then we, then we have Kayla Robinson, Anna Ramsey, and Kristen Bremner. And they're going to play some music for us. Let's do it. Okay. Right. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to bring out the pros to help me too a little bit. But they sure don't. Want to check them out in person? The Mountain Dance and Folk Festival starts tonight with Hometown Heritage Night. It goes all weekend long. Come out and check out the wonderful music, the dancing, and the awesome people who help keep this part of the mountain's history alive. All the details at WLS.com. Live in Asheville, Victoria and Uncle, News 13.